one of my most memorable missions my, was my first red flag mission, which was just amazing. Oh, uh, you have to share that then. Yeah, well, no, we did have an orientation sortie, you know, when we first showed up to, to just show us the range, which, you know, so it was not an operational, you know, technical mission. It was just kind of like flying around and, you know, like, don't go in Area 51 kind of thing, because that's, that's right, you know, and say, well, do not go in that box because bad things will happen. Okay, okay. And, uh, but then the first opera, you know, tactical mission that I was sent on, I was supposed to be a wingman in a two ship of F-111s. And we get to the end of runway last check before takeoff. And my leader has a problem and says, I have to abort. I can't, I can't go fly this airplane. There's a, I can't remember what the exact problem was. And, you know, like in the F-16 later, that would have meant the wingman aborts at the same time. Not in the F-111. They say, mm -hmm. you go. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> now, I did have my, you know, my, my, my good whistle friend, Kurt Supan, who, who was an experienced whistle. He was, he was experienced. So, you know, I felt okay. So at least he knows what, he, <laughs> what he's doing. But um, it was pretty exciting. So, you know, we took off as a single ship. Uh, not granted, yeah, single ship. We were part of a large package with, mm -hmm. you know, RF-4s. F-15 escorts, uh, you know, uh, other F-111s that, that were later, but in different flights, some F-4s, I can't remember the, the whole composition, probably some F-4Gs, wild weasels. You know. In any event, I've got a TOT, you know, time on target to meet, and that's what we're going to do. You know, we hit the tanker first, and then we, we ingress, you know, on time, and... Uh, but I'm, I'm by myself, basically. You know, again, there are other airplanes in the area, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to be striking my target at my time. And and that's what happened. But uh, it was, you know, because we were looking for threats. There, there was, of course, it was red air trying to get us, and we were flying really low. And so because I was, uh, you know, so uh, I guess a little nervous about it, I went, I had, my load was six BDU 33s, so you know, those, those practice bombs, not the big bombs, but just, uh, you know, and I was supposed to ripple them, like it's, uh, it's like 0.2 second interval, so it took like one second to drop the whole thing, and I, I failed to hold the pickle button long enough, right, so the pickle button is on the, on the stick, and it's a red button, and you push, mm -hmm. and it releases the bomb, assuming you have the master arm on, and, and, and you know, the right weapon selected. So instead of dropping the six, I think I only dropped like two bombs <laughs> because I didn't hold it long enough to, you know, to, uh, in my excitement, I thought, okay, I'm done, you know, and I, and I started wearing, so, so we know, but we noticed that. And so we re-attacked. So I went around and came back and dropped the rest of the bombs. Uh, but that was kind of exciting. Now, it was all planned that you, you did have a couple of minutes for a re-attack. So, you know, that wasn't, and then, on the egress, now, on, when I hit my TOT, I had been preceded by maybe a minute or two by an RF-4 pre-strike recce. On the way back, we caught up with him, and he was going supersonic, like maybe 1.1 Mac, but we were going so fast, we were going like 1.4 Mac. And it sounds like a lot, but you have to remember, Nellis is at about 5,000 foot uh, elevation. So it's not like sea level. Like sea level, the, the max speed was really about 1.2, but at 5,000, you could get to about 1.4. And so even though this RF-4 is already getting supersonic, we're catching up with him, and we're just <laughs> passing him like he's not standing still, but like, like it was like easily. I mean, it wasn't even close um, because we're going like a couple hundred miles per hour faster than he is, you know. And, that was, and we're all like at you know, 300 feet on the deck, if that, I don't remember if I was checked out to 100 feet low altitude at the time, I don't think so. I think I was still limited to 300 at, on that mission.